President Aquino rules out abolishing the Visiting Forces Agreement with the U.S. amid the alleged involvement of an American soldier in the killing of a Filipino transgender woman in Olongapo City. The President made the announcement as he led the ceremony marking the 70th anniversary of the Leyte Landing, a pivotal moment in the effort by U.S.-led Allied forces to turn the tide against the Japanese occupation in the 1940s. Anjo Alimario now joins us from Palo Leyte. Anjo? Yes, my President Aquino sees no need to end the visiting forces agreement with the U.S., even with the death of Filipino transgender woman Jennifer Laude involving U.S. Marine Private First Class Joseph Scott Pemberton. The sin of one person, the President points out, should not be reflective of an entire country. What's important here, he emphasizes, there is a crime that's been committed, collate all the evidence to prove the guilt of those responsible, and ultimately get justice. The President adds Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario, Defense Secretary Walter Gazmin, and U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg are working on solving the issue of Pemberton's custody, and at the very least, making sure, based on the agreement, he is available for full investigation in all judicial processes. My the President Aquino today led the 70th anniversary of the late Gulf landing in Palo Leyte, where he recognized and thanked those who risked their lives in defending the country. The landing is historic as it marked the reestablishment of the Commonwealth government on Philippine soil. The invasion of Leyte began the campaign for the liberation of the country from the imperial Japanese forces, fulfilling General Douglas MacArthur's pledge of returning to the islands. My U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg was also one of the guests today, saying the mutual defense treaty between the two governments is a source of stability in the region. My President Aquino didn't have the time to visit those affected areas by Super Typhoon Yolanda, but he promised that he will be back here next month or a year after Yolanda hit the country. My? Anjo, uh, the U.S. ambassador, as you mentioned, is there. Do you know if the president got an assurance straight from the U.S. ambassador himself of the U.S.'s full cooperation in the Laude murder case? Mm -hmm. Actually, Matt, that's what the government, especially the spokesperson of the president, have been saying all this time, that they are getting the full cooperation of the U.S. government now that being espoused by U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg. And today, President Aquino says that the uh, uh, Ambassador Goldberg, together with our uh, Defense Secretary and uh, Foreign Affairs Secretary, are working doubly on working the issue of the custody issue of Pemberton Mike. Mm -hmm. Still a big question today is if the accused Joseph Scott Pemberton will appear in tomorrow's preliminary investigation. Um, any mm -hmm. word from the U.S. Ambassador on that? Mm -hmm. Why we didn't get that, uh, that opportunity to talk to Ambassador Goldberg because we were already uh, uh, preparing for the interview of the ambush interview for the president. But what he told us, uh, uh, Ambassador Goldberg, during his speech is that the mutual defense treaty, again, between the U.S. and the Philippines is a source of stability in the region. There is a need to expand and renew the partnership between the two countries, My. Okay, thank you, Anjo. Anjo Alemario there reporting to us straight from Palo Leyte.